Good afternoon. My name is Nathan App and I'm a Transformation Alignment and Dream Builder Life Coach. I have a question for you today. My question is, have you ever been in a place where you just didn't feel enough or you were trying to be enough for everyone? That you had really high expectations on yourself and maybe in turn had high expectations for others? Judgment about yourself? Um, just really sensitive, getting your feelings hurt when people say things to you, and then you carry those beliefs about yourself, beliefs that really don't even belong to you. I know I did. I tried to please everyone. Um, and even when I was surrounded with pe by people, I kind of felt alone because I just didn't feel like I was doing enough. And I carried these beliefs that really truly weren't even mine. So I'd like to rewind a few years. I was the CEO of our home for 28 years. I feel so blessed that we were uh, that we were blessed with three boys and a daughter. And it was really, truly everything I ever wanted to be and do since I was five years old. Being a mom was so important to me. I was really involved in the kids' lives. I served others, served my kids, served my husband to the really best of my ability. I volunteered, I coached, and I just, I really was honored. I felt really grateful that I was able to do this, but I did get tired because I was always doing, right? And then one day I woke up and the kids were all grown up and they had moved away from home. Like who knew? It was so quiet. It was very quiet in our home. But I had this little longing, this desire, this light, this burning that there was something more. Because I'm a believer that there's a power within us that's way greater than we are. My husband is really funny. He thought my new purpose and my new passion should just be entirely looking after him. We've been together for 37 years now and I love him to bits. But I knew I needed to listen to that voice. And then I made the decision. I made the decision because I was so grateful for my life, my family, my friends, everything in it. I wanted, I wanted to just explore more and just really dig deep into this work. I wanted to be in alignment with myself and transform those beliefs and release what no longer belonged to me. Because I love others, because I love seeing the good in people, I knew there had to be a way of speaking, a language that I needed to learn and that I could share with others. So I'm going to start by asking you a question. What would you love more of in your life? How and do you have a light or a little voice inside of you that's calling you to do more? That you have a vision, you have a dream, but you just don't know where to begin because you're letting the paradigms hold you back from moving forward. This really starts with awareness. Awareness of what our thoughts are. Awareness of what we're thinking about without judging ourselves and beating, apart, beating ourselves up. Really, where are you placing your focused attention? Is it what you don't want in your life or what you do want? And it's by taking that one little step every single day. It's a 1% shift, a 1%, oh, I'm noticing that, to move forward. And really important is surrounding yourself with mentors, support, people who believe in you, people who believe in your dreams. Because we all have a light in us. We all have a purpose. Light, our life here is a gift. So I'm inspiring you and I'm inviting you to be brave, be bold, be kind to yourself and others. See the light that's shining in you so you can just spread it to others and within yourself and just really reflect and be aware of what you're thinking and have gratitude in each day and be thankful for all the little things and doing what you can with what you have and where you're at. Thank you.